Today in our 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 1500, you're going to be taking a look at, I'll show you how to install, the K-Source Custom Extendable Towing Mirror, part number KS62148G. If you'd like to pick one up for the passenger side, use part number KS62147G. These also come as a set by using part number KS62147-48G. Here's what our towing mirror looks like when it's installed. It's going to be a custom fit to replace our factory mirror. It's going to have a durable plastic housing with a black texture finish. It's going to match nicely with the vehicle. It's also going to have heated mirrored glass for that winter snow and ice. The hinge design allows you to fold your mirror in when parking in tight places. It's also going to allow you to telescope your mirror out. It's going to allow you to see past the side of your trailer. It's going to help with passing on the highway, changing lanes, etc. And it's going to be fully adjustable from inside the vehicle. Our lower mirror is going to be our spotter mirror. This is going to help reduce our blind spots. And it's going to be manually adjustable to help maximize our line of sight. Our top mirror here is going to be 6 and 7 eighths wide by 7 and 3 quarters. Our lower mirror from top to bottom is going to be 3 and a quarter. From side to side, it's going to be 6 and 7 eighths. Now that we've gone over some of the features of this mirror, let me show you just how easy it is to get on. First thing we need to do is remove our factory mirror. In order to do that, we're going to have to loosen up our door panel. One thing we're not going to have to do is we're not going to have to take the door panel all the way off. We're going to have two bolts on the bottom we're going to need to remove. We're going to use a 930 second socket to remove those. Next what we're going to do is we're going to start right here on the side and we're going to pull out. We're going to work our way around. We're going to have a fastener right here. Take a trim panel tool, flathead screwdriver. Get it in there. I'm going to pop that off. We're just going to take this panel, we're going to pop it off like this. And it's on a seam here, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of pull back this way. We'll just lift out like that. Now what I'm going to do is instead of letting this hang because it's really, really flimsy, take a piece of tape, just kind of take the weight off of itself. This wire that runs from the back of our mirror, you can see it's got some fasteners on it and they're pushed in. It runs right down to the plug. We need to remove those. And what we need to do is our plug and go ahead and pop that off. Pull out like that. And right there, there's a little tab we're going to push in. Push in and pull out. It's going to look like that right there. Next, we'll take a 10 millimeter socket. Go ahead and loosen up the nuts. We're going to come to our outside here. We'll just pop that out and pull the whole cable and everything out. Now on our factory mirror, we only have three mounting locations. On our new one here, we have a fourth one, so we're going to have to drill a hole. For our instructions, we're going to need to drill this out to a 3 8 But we're going to start with a pilot hole first. Once you've got your pilot hole drill, we're going to finish it out with the 3 8 bit. Now I'm going to use a little bit of clear coat. You can use any color you have, uh, some spray enamel to cover up that bare metal. It'll help prevent any uh, rust or corrosion later on. You're not going to see any of it because all this covers it anyway. Next we're going to have some little rubber tabs. We need a, or little rubber covers. Go ahead and pull those off. We're going to start from the outside here. We're going to feed our wire through a large hole. Line up all of our screw holes. You want to make sure you get that grommet in there. Just like that. Now your kit's going to come with four nuts, except the nuts are smaller than those holes. So I recommend using your factory ones that you took off 
And then for their fourth one, we're gonna use one of the new nuts that come in the kit, and then we're just gonna put a washer on the back of it. And we'll go ahead and reinstall our new wire. It's gonna come with new fasteners, pushpin fasteners here. So we're just gonna put them in the same holes that we took out our factory one. The plug lined up, and just push it into place. Now we can remove our tape. We're gonna slide our panel back in like this. If you, there's a lip right here on the side. We wanna get it around this edge. We're gonna go around and make sure that lip is all the way around all of it. Then you just wanna make sure you push that fastener back in, and then we can start putting our door panel back. We're just gonna go around the edge, and you're just gonna make sure it's all popped into place. Once that's done, you can replace your two screws at the bottom. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the K-Source Custom Extendable Towing Mirror, part number KS62148G on our 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 1500.